Hello everyone! Today I bring you a color pencil review. I have here Black Widow Wax Colored Pencils. The three main sets, they also have color skin, color skin tone sets, but I didn't get those. I just wanted to start off with these first. These are offered, created by Medi Health One, and they are made in China. And they have, these are also available open stock, and we have a support email here as well. And Germany, I believe the guy that created it is um, from Germany, or this originates in Germany. But you can correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But I believe his name is Albert. Albert is the creator and a man designed these. I, I really like these designs on these covers. The si simple, the simple modern design, just uh, they're just tin cases. And I don't even think I really want a color pencil case because I like these so much. They have a Black Widow on, this is the first one they came out with. And we have, and they all, both, each of these have 24 pencils. This one's a Scorpion. And the edition is edition 1000 BW. This one is edition 2000 SC. And this last one is edition 3000 COB for Cobra. And they all have different colors on the pencils that I will show you. First, let's take a look at the Black Widows. Well, they're, normally they're not hard to open. Okay, so. The Spider Wax Colored Pencils, I mean, they have in here the colors and what I really liked about these sets is the unique names sure I could just have a maybe a, what is it? this one would probably be a yellow ochre this egg yolk but instead of just plain yellow ochre is egg yolk this toadstool could be salmon pink instead but it's toadstool and we have foxy brown Banana is not really that unique, but Ladybug, Tarantula, Amethyst, Forget Me Not. That's what I was drawn with, with these. And they are marketed towards color pencils. Not, not color pencils, sorry. They are marketed towards coloring books because, oh, let me just drop all of them out of the cases. Okay, we have here finest collection of adult coloring pencils. So they really, really are focused on the adult coloring world. Now there is no light fast rating on these pencils, but if you're not concerned with that, I don't think that's a problem. And I think that from many people's reviews, many people prefer these over their Prismas and Faber-Castells. If you're not trying to sell your art, and especially if they're just for coloring books, this is a great alternative instead of spending not so much on Prismas because they're probably just a little bit more than these. These were 16 something, $17 on Amazon. And each of these were $17 on Amazon. And so that would make it about 50 for 72. And I believe Prismas are about a dollar pencil. So, I mean, these are cheaper than Prismas. But I wouldn't say a lot cheaper. They're um, just a little bit cheaper. And I just wanted an alter alternative to Prismas because I have a, almost a whole set of Prismas. But the wax bloom really kills me when I use them. So I wanted to find something that didn't cost an arm and a leg. I really wanted to to buy Faber Castell Polychromos, but that just isn't in my budget right now. And I just wanted to try these first in coloring pencils as well as drawings, but not so much drawings, but more in my coloring books. So this set, if you, they're all hexagon shape, which I, I like, Faber Castell is round, and these are hexagon and they have red. I know some people complained uh, on reviews that they have a black um, wood, but that's just, 
that makes it and there's no color indicator at the end but they do have color indicators on the new skin tone sets but i don't think i really need that i think it looks so much better in the design without that but that's just my opinion and everyone uh, has a different preference on what they like but let's look at a prisma color and a faber castell i have just two faber castells hanging around both prismas and faber castells are round in their barrels so they roll a lot and i drop them quite frequently which makes it very sad because especially with well i think with faber castells they have something that that the barrels are glued in or the, the lead is glued inside so they don't they don't have much of a problem i think and prismas definitely do well this is the faber castell right here it's bigger in the barrel and this is the prisma but they prismas definitely have a lot of uh you know uh, problems defects uh, faults with breaking so definitely if you drop a prisma you're gonna have to kiss it goodbye but so these two um are round and the willows are hexagon shape and, and it, the willows are much smaller in the barrel it's a diameter it's, and I would say the lid is just a little bit slimmer so you got probably less oh well favorite castell I used it a little bit well let me see. I don't have a new one I used both of these so I don't really know let me see if I can find a brand new Prisma I never used all right so this is a prisma color pencil i have never used it's brand new i have used these so and i don't have another for comparison but let's just compare these prismas come like sharpened like the with the little little baby point i don't like that so i i do sharpen them anyways when i start with them uh, so it looks like they are pre-sharpened they are shorter a bit than prismas when they come in i don't know for favor castell because i've used them i don't have any new new ones i got those two in a scrawler box otherwise i wouldn't have these favor castells polychromos uh, one day i want to get them but i just and i have a few um things few maybe favor castell polychromos pablo karen dash you know just a few on my wish list all right so the barrels have red on them we let's look closer so the barrels have red and in person not in camera probably but in person i really can see that red but everyone has different eyesight and then they have a code the name on the top a code and well the company's name a code and the color like this one's amethyst and then they have the spider logo i think that's really cool let's look at the scorpion one so this is the second one they came out with and we have no red on the barrels we have white instead of red i don't know if this was just um a design thing they wanted to do for everyone like i really think that's cool that they, they, they have their each own individual style maybe some other companies or some people would think that's in incohesive but me being the type of person that likes different things and not the same thing always this really is cool and it's why and it, you can see these i would say anyone can see these and then the the style of it did change we have the color now here on the top before on the red one the first set we had the company's name here this time there's no company name. Well, actually, no, I take that back. The first set, the company's name is Black Wi Wi Widow. I was gonna say Black Willow. I think I might have said Willow, but Black Widow is the company's name or the color pencil's uh, name. And 
Black Widow is the first set name too. So, but the second set is Scorpion. And in the first previous one, we had the name of the set here and the color here. So they just swapped it. We still have the logo here and then the code. I don't know why they swapped it in the second one. Maybe they just thought it was better that way. I really don't know. I, that's probably a good idea, but it's really the same difference. So they have the same style, you know, black wood on this set, just uh, the white print, and then the change of where they put the color name. And we also have here the same thing with just the, the name of the these sets here. And I would say the most unique names are in the first set. Second one becomes a little bit more normal, like turquoise. But I'm gonna look at that more in depth when I swatch these. So the last set is Cobra, Co Edition 3000 Co Cobra. And I really like that this set has gold. So I don't know about the second set, it being white. A scorpion having white letters, I don't know if that matches, but this matches perfectly for Cobra. We have the pencils are the same with the black wood, but we have, they kept the design the same as a scorpion where you have the well no I, I take it back sorry the design of the comp the name of the package is on the top just like the first set black widow and the code is here with the color on the bottom here and the the image or the snake is here so each of them had their logo on the bottom just the second set had the codes switched around or the names the color names and stuff switched around so i'm guessing maybe they tried it on the second one and they said oh it didn't work very well we'll just go back to the original way so that's that and we have a total of 72 pencils for 50 dollars. i think that's a great great purchase Whoop, this C is not closing on me. All right. And I didn't want a lot of pencils too. That's why I didn't get the skin tone sets. And I just think that they have the color skin tones in these sets already. So I just wanted to try that first. And I wanted to see if I liked it before I even invested in more but the skin tone set is only like $11 for 14 wait 12 they split up the skin tone sets into 12 and 12 which makes it more than these sets like this is like 24 for 17 and the skin tone sets is 11 each for half the size so they market it more like costly actually when they're really the same pencil, but they did add the color indicator at the bottom of the pencil, which probably makes it more costly for them to make it. I don't mind not having it really because I will be making color swatches with any of your, any of your art material, anything, make swatches. And I got this little nifty sketch box, sketchbook with my limited sketchbook anniversary box, the fifth year anniversary box, and it's just perfect for swatches. So I, I did, a, you know, here I did swatches with the drawing set I got in that box, a few things like this. This, this paper doesn't hold like water. This was like Indian ink. Yeah, it was Indian ink and stuff. But it does hold pastel really well. As you can see here, I did a drawing here with pastels and some Indian ink it works minimally, but it's a perfect size to have color swatches because I just don't want a giant book. And I have done that. And then my, my Prismas are in this color pencil case, which I do like for them because there's just so many, I need it in a color pencil. Uh, case this holds 220 I got it on Amazon I think they still sell it but if I find the link I'll put it down below if you are interested but they have different kinds of color pencil cases you can buy 
but for Prismacolor, I just made swatches on, I just found someone, so already made one that they, uh, that anyone could download and use. So that's what I do, and I keep it in here because, well, I don't really need to have it in a sketchbook. But I want to probably, what I will do with this, I'll eventually make swatches on this book to have it only in one area. But I will start off with my black widows and make my swatches in here for only the color pencils I believe this sketchbook will be for. Color pencils, my coloring, yeah, color pencils only. I don't have a lot of color pencils anyways, so this size should work perfectly. I don't know what size it is. Not off the hand, it doesn't list it, but it's a really, really good size. You can see my indention from my previous drawing, that's fine. I really think I will keep them in these cases because I want to work with limited colors, so maybe I just want to pick colors from this set and work with this set instead of, you know, having the whole set to worry about. I don't know, I think I'm going to go with this order here, you know, how they have Ladybug. It's not in that order, I believe, here. I don't have them in order as the tin top here. But it's your choice on how you want to order your colors. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick to this order. I know that some people would probably stick the yellows together, reds and stuff, but it really doesn't matter too much. I'll just do this just to keep things simple. These are a wonderful set of pencils because of the price and the quality. There's no light fast rating for these, but they are working on that. That's what I heard. And there's just a few minor problems like well, the off-center problem is the same problem Prisma has, and a lot of people still use that. They may have been burned at the stake for that, but it's still a quality pencil. So they these also have that problem in many of their pencils. I The Ladybug, I had the first pencil, the red. I have a very short pencil now because it broke constantly while I was using it and just broke while I sharpened it too. So being off-centered is a big con for these. And the second set, the Scorpion, I had two double colors, Delicious Pink. I didn't get a pig's ear color, which is like a different, similar pink. But the good thing is, if you email support, they have a support at medihealth1.com. And the owner or the guy in charge, his name is Albert, emails you really quick. And the next day, I got an email back. And he put it in the mail that day. But unfortunately, he lives in Australia and I live in the United States. But that's not the company's fault. Once I get it, I'll get it still. Um, and with the corona, then shipping will be delayed. But that's also not the company's fault. So I am using these on the strawberry that you see here. I uh, didn't take a lot of pencil for this little drawing. I just wanted to do something quick. Uh, on in this video I did use them on a coloring page and the pencils themselves are really light really small in diameter compared to prismas and polychromos so they don't last as long so I have many pencils that are already short they didn't break except for that one uh, but when I'm using them especially for the background for wide areas they don't keep their points it is it's creamy and that's a good thing but it, the pencils have to be sharpened often and since they are so small in diameter the pencil goes really fast so I will see how that that is um, in time and how fast these pencils go but usually when I get like I, my Prismas they've lasted me a while but I still have to replace one by one when I do run out but the good thing with these they do offer open stock they have open stock so i'm not really sure how you would buy it uh, maybe you would just have to email medihealth1.com to buy their open stock i'm not sure i think that's probably the only way you can um order open stock but they it is there it is available so you don't have to buy the whole tin again when you run out of one pencil 
So I hope that you enjoyed this video. I really like these pencils. And if you are also interested in these, they are available on Amazon. I will include the links down below in the description. So see you next time in the next exciting video. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And goodbye, everyone.